Hello everybody. We're going to learn all about circle basics in this screencast. And a circle is simply a set of points that is equidistant from a given point called the center. So, here's my center. And if I put any point on this circle, I'll just put four of them here at random spots. Okay, and if I measure the distance from the center out to any point on that circle, then you'll see that that distance is the same. I'll go from C to G. And finally from C to H. So, this circle has a radius of 5.28 centimeters. The radius is the distance from the center out to a point on the circle. Okay? So every circle has a center and every circle has a radius. Now, if you have a line and it just touches a circle at exactly one point, it intersects at exactly one point, then we call that line a tangent. And that point where it intersects a circle is called the point of tangency. Okay, so a tangent intersects a circle at one and only one point. What about things intersected at two points? Well, if you've got a segment that connects two points on a circle, that's called a chord. And if you have a chord that goes right through the center of the circle, like this one, it's a special case of a chord. It's called a diameter. And you may have realized that half the diameter is the radius. Finally, if I have a line that intersects a circle and contains a chord, that's called a secant. Okay, so this secant line contains the chord FG. What happens if F comes around so it's sitting right on top of G? So instead of having two points, I've got one point. Well, then we have a tangent. Okay, so a secant contains a chord and a chord has to connect two different points on a circle. So what makes circles congruent? Well, if two circles have the same radius, they're going to be congruent. So here's one circle with this radius AB. I'm going to construct a circle with C as its center, but I'm going to use that radius. There you go. These circles are congruent because they have the same radius. If I shorten this radius, it shortens that circle increase that radius, it increases that circle. But both circles have the same radius, so they are congruent. Okay, what about circles that have different radii, but the same center? These are called concentric circles. All of these circles have the same center, but different radii. So they're concentric. And finally, what's the difference between something that's inscribed and something that's circumscribed? Well, inscribed is inside, and circumscribed is outside. It's around. And so if I put some points on this circle and create a polygon with those points, I say that the pentagon is inscribed in the circle and the circle has circumscribed the pentagon. Okay? So the anything that's inside a circle is inscribed and anything that's going around and touching the vertices is circumscribed. Now a polygon and a circle can switch places. Here the square 
has circumscribed the circle and the circle is inscribed within the square. So make sure you understand the difference between circumscribed and inscribed. And that is basics of circles.